What is Freedom of Speech? An Introduction for Young People. This video explains what free speech is, especially for young Americans. Of course, free speech is an important ideal all around the world, not just in the United States. Suppose your country's leaders decide to go to war, but you disagree and think it is a bad war. Or suppose your country's leaders decide to make your religion against the law. It's happened often in history. So you decide to speak out bravely in a classroom, and you make others very angry. Suppose your teacher or someone from the government says, you can't say that, and punishes you. Isn't there something very wrong here? Your right to freedom of speech was taken away. Americans believe free speech is very important. Look at what our first president, George Washington, said. If the freedom of speech is taken away, then... Dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution is one of the greatest. Among other things, it says, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. So, what does that mean? But first things first, what does speech mean? Speech means talking, of course, but also writing and other kinds of communication in words. That's called verbal communication. So, even sign language counts as speech. But the United States Supreme Court has decided that in the First Amendment, the word speech also means expression of ideas and feelings not in words, like the thumbs up sign. For example, holding up a fist or burning a flag. These actions make a nonverbal statement. An upraised fist is a symbol for an idea. It means or points to an idea. In particular, it means fighting back against something you dislike. So sometimes you'll see the phrase freedom of expression used. Freedom of expression is what the First Amendment means by freedom of speech. But what does the freedom part mean? If you can freely move about and nobody can stop you, then you're free to move. Just think of all the things we can do. Read, build, play, and speak, and express ourselves. You can be free to do these things, or not. Someone might stop you. Now, when you have freedom of speech, who is letting you speak? Who is not stopping you? When the First Amendment talks about freedom of speech, there's the phrase again in the First Amendment, it means the long arm of government isn't stopping you. Congress isn't stopping you. Congress shall make no law, it says. Why don't you check out some of the other videos that I've made about free speech next?